So for this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Maya bridge tool polygon workflow for combining two primitive shapes. So um, for example, we'll combine a, a cube with a sphere. And what you need to do is you want to plan ahead. So um, the workflow I follow is generally taking an uh, eight-sided object and combining it. And what you want to do is you get the, you know, find the proportions that should work for you. So, so if we sort of eyeball this, if I wanted to integrate this cube here, I've got eight sides on the cube, and I want to fit it into eight faces here on this polygon. So if we just scooch this aside for a second, if we look at this, um, if I deleted these, there would be eight faces here that we would be able to bridge between. And so that's looking pretty good. And But um, in order to make this even a little bit better, I'm going to just line these up and then I'm going to um, nudge these edges a little bit apart so that we've got just sort of a, a nicer, it'll, it'll create a nicer bridge. So these I'm going to bring closer together. This I'm going to line up with the center. And these two will space out just a little bit. So there, we should have a, this should make a great bridge. So then I'm going to, next I'll sort of scooch this out of the way. Or actually I can put it on a layer and hide it for the moment. So I'll select this vertex and convert that. And now we've got our sphere. And now let's go in and select the bottom of the sphere. Let me need to get out of object mode on there. And so now I'm going to select the bottom vertex on the sphere and convert that to faces and then just grow the selection until I see that I've got see one too many. I've got the sphere cut out the way I want it. And now I need to combine these two objects. So shift right click combine. And now we will edge loop select these two and we'll bridge between them. And the default bridge has uh, five divisions. So I'm going to take that down. And um, so now if I wanted to, to make this uh, smoothable where the form doesn't change so much, I'd probably want to go in and add some edge loops so near the base here and here. And also if I wanted to keep the cube um, from deforming too much in terms of the, the shape, I could do the same thing for those edges. So. There we go. Let's visualize that. So there we go. Really nice integration of the two objects. And it keeps it all quad geometry. All right. So that's the uh, bridge tool. It's also worth mentioning if you have um, two objects that you want to bridge. There's some nice options in the bridge tool where you can um, bridge along a path. And that gives you some extra options where you can um, go in and you can apply a taper and a twist, which can give you some nice looks. So that's it for this video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you in the next one.